national competition since the Europeans in 1992 and the World Championships in 1991. He's been lifting for his club, but coaxed out of uh, club lifting and then back in on back onto international duty, having put up a good display October's national championships in Austria when uh, he picked up uh, 195 kilos in a clean and jerk, which is uh, a very good effort. So, it's a good opener, 190 and a half, so that cuts back the deficit to five kilos between the two Austrians, but still Kobler the better of the two. Now, here's the man from Azerbaijan, Shabazov. Moved up a weight since last year. Shabazov. Five kilos behind Britain's Leon Griffith. And uh, no lift there. And he's uh, kilos behind our British man at the moment because he's only got uh, 180 at the moment. Shabazz off with one lift to go. So two minutes on the clock, the bar still at uh, 190 kilos, and it might well be that Shabazov is going to have to follow himself. Still to come today on Eurosport, we've got uh, action from the 99 kilo class, and then tomorrow, the really big man, 108 kilos, and we're live at uh, 3 o'clock Central European time for the super heavies, the plus 108 kilo men. Two o'clock, of course, for all of you across Great Britain, and uh, we'd enjoy your company if you can join us for that. Now, Shabba's off with a minute and a half now in which to take this third and final attempt. At the moment, his uh, running total, the uh, three, 325, which is uh, a bit modest, and he's clearly going to be overtaken by one or two. And, uh, looking up perhaps for divine guidance. This lift uh, would improve that total to 335, but it wouldn't give him the lead. Kobler of Austria still would uh, handsomely hold that. Kobler, who was a full 15 kilos ahead of this man after the snatch. 30 seconds, plenty of time, but has he got, has he got the belief in himself, got to fire this up, get this on, shoulders dropped, couldn't drive it up, and uh, it's not been a good day at the office for this man, 325 kilos is a very disappointing total. He did uh, 317.5, that was in the 83 kilo class a year ago. And the long journey, I'm afraid, has not uh, paid off. Now here's Lars Becker for the German team. They have two in the competition, of course, Lars and uh, Oliver Caruso, who will uh, wait a while before he appears. Caruso, who's uh, not uh, due to come in until the weight reaches 200 kilos. Now, he said uh, on the advance notice we get that he'd come in at 190. Well, in fact, he's coming at 192 and a half. So he's trying to make up ground because he was down in sixth place with a disappointing 157.5 in the snatch. That's going to be good enough to get him on his way.
So he's got uh, only time back to his uh, total 375. But this was a good, competent clean and jerk. You see the bar uh, nicely positioned on the shoulders and uh, a good chuck overhead, nice and strong. And he's got one solid lift. We'll be back very shortly here on Eurosport. Unbending power, foolproof robustness, maximum reliability, extremely fast. Real a tool for every job. event has a world record of 2 hours 6 minutes 50. Play Adora and Eurosport and you could win a weekend for two in Athens for the Athletics World Championships. You can also win Deodora sports gear. Call now. Good luck. Running the mythos with me. Paul Tracy and the Penske made it two in a row in Rio. But now, the Cart World Series returns to the United States and a brand new track, the Madison Oval at St. Louis. The man to watch may be Michael Andretti, the winner at Homestead, but the new circuit is going to be a fascinating test. So, test it out yourself on Eurosport. The PPG Cart World Series from St. Louis. The preview tonight at 18.30, then the race live at 1900 CET on Eurosport. With Husqvarna, Forest and Garden Products. And Valvoline Motor Oil. You like motor racing? You like to see overtaking? You like close contact? You like full contact? You'll like this then. Some viewers even wear a seatbelt. The ADAC STW Cup from the Nürburgring, Sunday, 2200 CET on Eurosport. With Michelin, successful in motorsport and on the road with Pilot High Performance Tire. Bullet, though, will uh, be looking to go uh, well over 210 kilos. This man has done, apparently, 215, but we've never seen him before in international competition. That he's going to struggle to get to 215 now. Just uh, off balance there. Becker comes back on, or Caruso, I should say, comes on for his first lift. Here is the European silver medalist and the Olympic bronze medalist of 1996. Caruso did 2.15 in Atlanta. But many of these men, uh, quite understandably, not in that sort of form. Although I have to say the Germans, well, they tell us they came here in top form. They prepared well. But uh, last night, Mark Hooster in the 83 kilos, the flamboyant Germany gave us all a shock when he lost out on the snatch but then he did redeem himself in the clean and jerk to take the gold which he was expected to do Caruso is going to get three white lights for this good start Good lift, and it was uh, a good lift indeed. The platform number nine, Chumak. See, uh, no fuss and bother there. But just wait, get the bar absolutely still, which we must, and then solid split. And 
uh, Caruso on his way. Now Oleg Schumach, Schumach who was in fourth place after the snatch, full seven and a half kilos off the pace, needs to make his mark now if he's going to get into the medals, just miss one in the snatch, so all important that he does well here. Still 200 kilos on that bar. Well, that's uh, again to be quite tight to the windpipe, the bar there. This uh, angle, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to show us. We adjust. But when he comes to uh, chuck it up, timing and the power weren't there. Now here's uh, Matsku, and 200 kilos would equal the national record for Austria, the clean and jerk. And 200 kilos would give him a total of 352 and a half, which would overtake his teammate. That's uh, Rudolf Kerbler, who's uh, finished on a total of five kilos below this. So it's a big increase, full 10 kilo increase. So, Matsku playing for high stakes. He'll have uh, one more chance. No lift. Mentioned earlier, runs a sports shop in Vienna. Father, coffee and an ice cream shop. Two of them uh, very much uh, businessmen together. If you're wondering uh, why uh, the stage shakes a bit, we're uh, in a basketball with uh, perhaps one of the most springy floors I've ever walked upon. Now Betka with uh, three quarters of a minute to address the bar. Came in and lifted 192 and a half kilos successfully so he's now going up seven and a half kilos only lifted 190 kilos a year ago in norway in the snatch which left him in a very lowly and disappointing 10th place Very level-headed guy, this man. Yeah. And, uh, 200 kilos, delighted about that. It's a, a very, very good effort. Becker with that uh, 200 moves up to 357.5. It's well short of what he has achieved, 375 kilos. But uh, it's two successful lifts, and it does allow him now to uh, attack and try and move up the table from sixth place, the position he occupied after the snatch. Right, so Agapitov now, 200 the first time. This is his second attempt at this weight. This will give him a, a running total of 375 if he can get it. Looking much better than the first time if he can bring that foot together. Yes, that's good technique. Well controlled and clearly is there, providing he puts it all together. So he now has a running total of 375 kilos. And uh, Caruso also has 375. But Agapitov, who edged out Caruso for the silver medal in the clean and jerk, pushed uh, Caruso down a bronze, has now uh, just gone ahead of the German. And as he uh, hoists that bar, Absolutely correctly overhead. This is Schumach for his second attempt. But even if he gets this, he's going to find himself 
on 375 kilos behind the Russian. Little rotation, but not a problem there. But he runs on to 370 as a total. I got beat off it is for Russia on 375. Head of uh, Caruso. Same weight. Although Caruso has two more lifts left. I got beat off. Only one. And Schumach also there with just one lift left. Matsku. Caruso sitting there. And there's a, a big chalkboard in the back on which the uh, game plan is revealed. But this is very clear. To equal the Austrian record, to give him a total of 352 and a half, which uh, won't earn him any medals, but it will give him the satisfaction of being the best Austrian on the day. Now, were he to make a mistake here and not get this, he'd be uh, back down at 3. 42.5, five kilos or behind. Stays. No, he can't do it. And uh, Matsu on uh, 342.5. Gets the uh, checking out unofficially 342.5, and that means that uh, by our calculation, Britain's uh, Leon Griffin is bound to move up from eight to seven. The Turkish choir in uh, good voice again. Not the most uh, sporting of supporters, but they're really urging on their man for Turkey. Turkey, the top medal nation here by some way. They've collected 12 medals, nine of them gold, three of them silver. Ray Fozel, the president on the left there in the yellow shirt of the Turkish Weightlifting Federation. Bullet 202.5 for his opening lift here. Never in doubt, really. Increases his advantage. He is the heavy man of the favourite. And that uh, increases his advantage over Agapitov to five kilos, which is a nice cushion to have. Oliver Caruso, Germany. Oliver Caruso, Here's Caruso. I suppose you could say the score before today's competition was one all because uh, Bullet it was who denied Caruso 12 months ago in Norway of the gold medal. Caruso had to settle for the silver, but then Caruso got his own on uh, Bullet by taking the bronze in Atlanta. They both ended up on 390 kilos as a total, but it was uh, Caruso, the German, by not by just 0.17 of a kilo who was the lighter and got the position on the podium. Of course, uh, just one medal, one set of medals at stake in Atlanta for the overall totals. Now, Caruso with 205. The drill executed and the weight achieved. Good lift. Uh, Caruso, 205 kilos. Terrific. Sunay Bulut, Darke on the platform. Just kept everything really steady. And then uh, pushes it up so the, the gap. Now uh, narrowed a little bit. Caruso, who was two and a half kilos behind, has just lifted 205. To go with the 175 that he lifted, that puts him on a total of 380. And uh, as you might have guessed, uh, 202.54 uh, Sune Bullet to go with the 177.5 he lifted in the snatch. Also puts him on 280, which means Caruso at the moment is technically in the lead for the overall title as he is the lightest man. 
difference is Caruso has had one lift, has had taken two lifts, Bullet only one. Now here's Bar Lars Betka. Betka successful in the clean and jerk at one one nine two point five and two hundred. Two hundred and five kilos. This is third and final lift. This for three, 62.5 if he can hold it steady. And that just got close to the windpipe there and I'm afraid not held up for a long time. No lift, not given. He wasn't that far away. Real disappointment here. You can see he had to work very hard to do the clean. But then on those shoulders, quite close to the windpipe, yet again chucks it up struggles there, you can see how red he is in the face and has to let it go and uh, that's a big setback because uh, he's now on 352.5 and again worth mentioning, Becker yet to make his mark in an international competition a major one Agapitov Agapitov with uh, third lift 205, the snap silver medalist. Now this would give him 375. Looking good, I think. Three white lights. Two to one. The uh, referee on the right hand side there not giving him the lift but uh, two out of the three did which is all that matters and Agapitov gets his 205 kilos let's have a look here was that right arm uh, locked out correctly so three 7-5 puts Agapitov in the lead at the moment. And I have to uh, remind you that Schumach at the moment has only taken one lift the Ukrainian at 200 and here's Bullet coming in at 207.5. Now Schumach who was seventh in the Olympic Games for the Ukraine, 212.5, lifted exactly the same total as this man you're looking at now. So Schumach may well feel that he can uh, play poker with Sune Bullet. He is looking so good. And uh, 207.5 given the advantage that he has from the snatch it's going to take a, a major miracle now for him to lose the overall goal that probably seals it 177.5 to add on to that which uh, takes him up to 385 that's only 5 kilos less than he and indeed Caruso produced in Atlanta in the United States at the Olympic Games. Now Caruso, if Caruso was to go to 207.5, then what would happen is he'd be the leader because he's the lighter man. But he might just uh, decide to go higher, and indeed he is going to go higher. Schumach is now coming in at 210 kilos, and Schumach is lighter than Caruso, lighter than uh, Bullet. So this is... Uh, Fascinating stuff now for the clean and jerk. Schumach had uh, 170 kilos and was down in fourth place. This would give him a total of 380, which would not overtake Sune Bullet. But it could certainly change the positions here in the clean and jerk. Celebrated his birthday on Thursday, so I, I'm sure he'd love a gold medal to uh, take back to the Ukraine. 
sixth in Europe uh, in 1995. All important. Jerk above the head, and he knows what he's doing. 110 kilos to go with the 170. Not good enough to uh, win because he's behind uh, Agapitov of uh, Russia, who's finished on 375. So he, the five kilos he gave away in the snatch has cost him a higher place. Caruso, though, coming in at 210. 210 to go with uh, the 175 that he's got from the snatch would take him to 385 and would put him ahead of Sune Bullet who at the moment is resting on two on 385 five kilos below Frank Mantek the right of on the right there of the three German coaches. He needs this badly. Score between him and Bullet is one each in major competitions in the last 12 months. And uh, Caruso pulls it off to 210. 385. And that means that Sune Bullet has got to lift to secure the gold medal. He's got to lift 210 kilos at least. 210 kilos will give him the gold medal by two and a half kilos. But were he to miss this, he would slip down from gold the silver medal position and Germany would have a second European champion within the space of 24 hours. Mark Hooster having taken gold at 83 kilos. On the other hand, uh, Turkey would have a fourth gold medal. Bullock holds it high with a big smile. Three white lights. And it's the champion of Europe for 1997 with a total of 387.5. Well, the Turks, they've dominated here. Mutlu won at 54 kilos. Sinemanoglu, that's uh, Havis Sinemanoglu at uh, 64. Ergun Batmas at uh, 70 kilos. And now it's Sune Bullet who takes the 91 kilo overall total gold medal. He takes the gold medals also uh, in the snatch. But it's Caruso who actually gets the gold medal in the clean and jerk because he's the lighter man. So the German getting uh, consolation there. He's got a full set. Uh, the bronze for the snatch. The gold, well, by my reckoning, it's Caruso. In fact, uh, my apologies, I completely forgot about Schumach there. Schumach has got the uh, gold medal. The lighter man, the body weight coming into play. So Schumach of the Ukraine gets the gold medal. Caruso gets the silver. Bullet only the bronze. But in the total game plan, it's uh, Sune Bullet who takes the title. Maxim. Agipitiv Ajapitov for Russia in his first uh, major competition. That's uh, a very good effort. And uh, just looking down there, we know that uh, Leon got uh, 190 kilos. So uh, that's a very good effort by uh, the Briton. And it's really going to help him in the overall order, Leon Griffin who uh, finished on 340 kilos. But here's the final result. And you can see Sune Bullet, a champion of Europe, with a total of 387.5.
two and a half kilos better than Oliver Caruso, who takes the overall silver. And Oleg Schumach it is, with that 210 kilo lift in the clean and jerk, making up the deficit. You can see there he was five kilos behind Maxim Azapitov of Russia after the snatch, but uh, ends up there on exactly the same weight, but is the lighter man. The uh, Austrians, uh, Kerbler, the better of the two, and Leon Gri Griffin, the best man in the B group, earlier in the day in eighth place, having taken one or two scalps. So that's a, a decent effort for him. But uh, this man was tipped, was pretty confident that he could uh, take the gold medals. Thought he might get all three, but in fact, uh, my colleague from Turkish television thought he'd get two. And... Mm -hmm.